The fact that lacrosse is considered the medicine game is not lost on me. My name is Anthony Darby. I'm CEO of Peninsula Wellness, Peninsula Alternative Health, and Peninsula Holistics. As I was a young child, I immediately felt better when I was playing lacrosse and after lacrosse than before. It's such an intense game. It really allows you to exert your primal instincts. And the goal, I have to be completely mindful and focused. People are throwing balls at 100 miles an hour. And, and when you have that focus and clarity on playing the game, it's tough to worry about what's going on at work. It's tough to worry about what's going on at home. It really allows you to be very present in the moment. Even if it's just those 60 minutes that you're on the field, even if it's just while that whistle's blowing, to, to just be present and to be able to escape from the rest of reality and just focus on that game is a blessing. And I look forward to playing and it's been so therapeutic and such a great medicine for me that I understand why it's called the medicine game. Like a lot of other folks that use cannabis as a wellness tool, as I get older at 40 years old, I do have the aches and pains. It does, my recovery time from hard workouts can be a little bit longer. And I found that by utilizing cannabis both before and after my workouts in different forms, whether it be inhalation in the morning to get my mindset right and to get my mood right, or to be able to use topicals and salves and edibles in the evening if I'm having inflammation or if I'm having aches and pains, cannabis has been a great tool in my wellness journey and getting me back on the field. Yoga has been incredibly helpful in this journey for a variety of ways. The mental aspect of it, the being able to get in touch with my mind and body, to be able to have an outlet for my stress when I'm having these crazy days at work, which are, are often hectic and chaotic, to be able to come in and center myself into a practice through meditation, um, through mind-body alignment is something that Jerry Miller has been intricate in helping me out with. The other piece of this, though, is just the overall flexibility and strength aspect I've gotten from yoga. I'm doing headstands and handstands now. Flexibility is, is greater than it's ever been, and that's really played out on the field. Um, when I'm in the goal now, my ability to move around the cage, my ability to get to the ball in ways that I wasn't able to before without hurting myself, without any type of, of negative effects has been amazing. And I have yoga to, to benefit from that and yoga to thank. And one of the other changes that I made was within my diet and how I fed, feed myself. I adopted intermittent fasting about 18 months ago and that has helped me on my weight loss journey but the biggest benefit that I've gotten from intermittent fasting has been the energy boost. I limit my eating to a window of noon to 8 p.m. and I found that cutting off at 8 p.m. when I wake up in the morning I'm not bloated, I have lots of energy and then also getting through my day, that eating window has really served me well. It's something that I've adopted now for a while and I continue to, to, to enjoy the benefits of it and do not see myself changing from, from that eating window of both cannabis and uh, THC and CBD have been very intricate parts of managing my lifestyle. I've gone through tolerance breaks and I've done the yoga and the, and the intermittent fasting and the working out without the cannabis products and, and still find that I have a better lifestyle. I use 60 milligrams of CBD, 30 milligrams twice a day, once in the morning, once in the night. And then I use cannabis products depending upon the day that I have. And I find that by incorporating those products and those tools along with the working out, lacrosse, yoga, intermittent fasting, that's how I get the best outcome for myself. Since I've incorporated these wellness tools and, and understand that, okay, I'm gonna take a break from work at 11 to one to go work out, because that's gonna make me more productive from one to five in my day, make me a better in, uh, business owner, make me a better leader. That's been a big tool to understand that, that taking care of myself and taking the time to invest in my body and my mind is actually great for my business. It's actually what my team needs me to do. Cannabis has been a tool that I've used all the time, but as a standalone tool, cannabis was not getting me to where I wanted to go. I needed to incorporate these other tools and since then I've never felt better I've never had more energy my ability to handle and manage stress is elite and, and I'm so thankful for the position that I'm in that I want to evangelize my situation I want to evangelize the progress that I've had so that others can enjoy the same for me in the beginning I didn't understand how much more successful I would be in business if I took better care of myself I'm in the best shape of my entire life at almost 40 years old it means so much to be able to strap up the cleats and step on the field and be able to ball again.